having an English man here, Peter, yeah, and he is an international businessman and the founder of Lucky Pupil. What do don't we know about you, Peter? Oh, well, there's a lot to know, but I think you've covered just about everything. I'm a British man living in Kharkiv in Ukraine, uh, founder of Lucky Pupil, as was mentioned, and I love meeting new people and traveling around Ukraine and sharing things about British culture and the sort of things that you might not know about Britain just if you watch television or read books, the things that you might need to live in Britain to know. I'd like to ask you about Christmas in the UK. Great. Uh, when do you celebrate it? So I know that Christmas in the UK is at a different date to Christmas in Ukraine, as far okay. as I'm aware. Yeah. For us, Christmas Eve is the 24th of December, and Christmas Day, which is the mm -hmm. important day, is the 25th of December. Mm -hmm. When's Christmas celebrated in Ukraine? Christmas Eve is on the 6th of January, and mm. Christmas Day is celebrated on the 7th of January. Right. So it's a bit different. Yeah. And I expect that's because of the difference between the Orthodox Church's calendar and the calendars used elsewhere. Yeah, but we do celebrate Catholic Christmas uh, in Ukraine as well. That's true, yeah. Same date as in the UK. Yeah. So it's a holiday now in Ukraine. But it's exotic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, Dead Maros mm. and um, the Americans, they have Santa. Yeah. Uh, who do you have? We don't call him Santa Claus. We call him Father Christmas. Oh. <laughs> uh, which is a bit like the French Père Noël. Uh -huh. Do you know what Father Christmas looks like? I can just uh, guess. Go ahead. Probably it's uh, a big man. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, with the red nose. No? Red nose. And here's the hint. Uh, hat, yeah, red hat. Red hat, a uh, red suit and outfit. My favourite version of Father Christmas mm -hmm. comes from a series of books in the UK by Raymond Briggs. They're the Father oh. Christmas books. Yeah. Yeah. And so that is my typical image of what Father Christmas looks like to me. That is my uh -huh, uh -huh. Father Christmas. I must check. I, I must check uh, these books. Uh, thank you. And um, what is a classic uh, traditional Christmas dinner? So there's some debate on this, on the different mm -hmm. things you should eat. But the basics generally are the same. Turkey mm -hmm. is the main meat. Mm -hmm. Some people like to wrap it in bacon. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, turkey is full of stuffing, mm -hmm. which is like a mix of meat and nuts and herbs, which cooks inside the turkey mm -hmm. as it roasts in the oven. While the turkey is roasting, we'll also roast potatoes. Mm -hmm. Some people like parsnips as well. I like parsnips, but other people are not fans. And what, what, are, what are they? They're root vegetables, similar oh. to potatoes, but older than potatoes in the UK. Cool. Uh, we also have carrots for some people. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite parts of the meal, and this is very controversial, sprouts. I really uh. <laughs> like Brussels sprouts. Um, you would also see some people have bread sauce, a kind of white sauce. Mm -hmm. Gravy, mm -hmm. absolutely vital. And maybe some cabbage, but that depends again on whether you like it. Mm -hmm. And for me, one of the main parts of the meal, one of the parts I look forward to the most, aside from Brussels sprouts, are small sausages wrapped in bacon that Americans sometimes call pigs in blankets. Oh yeah, it's so cute, yeah. They're uh, very, very tasty. Sure. But I think, as far as I'm aware, those are the main basics. And then after Christmas dinner, you have Christmas pudding, mm -hmm. which is like a fruit cake, which you mm -hmm. might see some places in uh, Western Ukraine and certainly mm -hmm. in Poland, but it's a very special British version. It's alcoholic. It's uh. covered in brandy, mm -hmm. which is then set on fire. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's dinner and a show. Cool. Yes. Uh, that's great. And also, I've heard of uh, mince pie. Yeah, mince pies are odd. They're a pastry treat. They don't contain meat. They contain lots of little bits of sweet things. 
I don't like mince pies, so I can't tell you much about them, but many people think they're great. Of course, many people also say that they have to be homemade, but eh, shop boards just as good. Mm -hmm. Yes, and what else? Mm, what, what, what is special about uh, Christmas in Britain? British Christmas is seen as very traditional. Mm -hmm. And so it's the kind of Christmas that people picture when they think about Christmas in America uh, and in other countries too. Other countries have their own traditions, but British Christmas has been exported and mm -hmm. seems to have become the norm. It's almost the mm -hmm. usual Christmas, is what we picture. Uh, we've created this tradition over many years, and it was created and cemented by the Victorians and the Charles Dickens and Queen Victoria with her husband Albert. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's the history of Christmas that's very special. And that history has continued all the way up to today. So you'll still see real Christmas trees in some houses. You'll see people having taking part in Christmas traditions that have gone on for hundreds of years. That's amazing. And do you celebrate Christmas this way in your family? Yes. Do you have tradition? We have a very yeah. traditional Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yes, with a real Christmas tree, uh, Christmas dinner, obviously, uh, lots of family presents, time together, and lots of very British traditions that some people might share, some people might not, uh, mm -hmm. where we listen to Christmas carols and Christmas songs on the radio, uh, we cook Christmas dinner together, we all collect in a room to eat our mm -hmm. turkey and talk and perform Christmas songs and oh, have yeah, yeah. Christmas games like mm -hmm. charades. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. And Peter, uh, could you tell me if you listen to <laughs> yeah, Queen's speech? The uh, Queen's speech. The Queen's speech. Yeah. So for some people, the Queen's speech is very traditional. Mm -hmm. It's in the afternoon, and people will gather to turn on the television and listen to what the Queen has to say as she delivers a message to all the British people uh, with theme of hope and reflection on the year that's just passed. Personally, mm -hmm. my family do not listen. I think about half the population in Britain do not watch or listen to the Queen's speech, but this is an important tradition for some people, so I appreciate that. Many channels have started doing alternative Queen's speeches, mm -hmm. so at the same time they will broadcast their own themed idea. Oh. Uh, some brands have started to do this too, mm -hmm. so maybe I'm interested in that, but for me that's not part of my traditional Christmas. But certainly for other British people, it absolutely is. Mm -hmm. What about in Ukraine? In Ukraine, we listen to our president. Right. Uh, yeah, talking on the New Year's Eve. That's it. And we make a wish after uh, the clock strikes 12. Yeah. Ah. So usually the Queen's speech in Britain is followed by a family film and everybody gets together to watch uh, whatever film will be on. Mm -hmm. In recent years, this has been something a bit more Hollywood, uh, very high quality productions, maybe a kid's film, maybe it's animated, mm -hmm. uh, but it's something to bring the family together as they sit and mm -hmm. collectively watch a, a film or do something together. Uh, I'm not a fan of musicals, but uh, this time of the year, uh, you can watch a lot of these musicals on TV in Ukraine. Ah, that is very common in Britain too, and we have a set of films that seem to play every single year, uh, one of which on Christmas, and I'm sure a lot of British people, if they're watching this, will also feel my fear, The Sound of Music. Some people enjoy that a lot, others find it to be a bit too long. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about Christmas songs? Uh, do you have a favourite one? I love Christmas music, although strictly it should only be in December. Mm -hmm. There's no rule about that, but it's my strong personal belief. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can hear Christmas carols, and uh, I had quite a religious upbringing, so there are lots of special Christmas carols themed around religion, mm -hmm. but pop music and Christmas are very important in the UK, certainly in America, but in Britain. Christmas songs are vital. And so we have the Christmas number one, 
whichever song is at number one in the music charts on Christmas Day will go on to be known very, very mm-hmm. well and it becomes very important for a lot of people. And so some of the older Christmas number ones that I might have heard when I was younger tend to be my favorites. So obviously there's Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogues. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which has become very popular now and was popular mm-hmm. back in the day, but it was something I grew up listening to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm a sucker for the classics. I love Slade, Merry Christmas, everyone. I know some people might not like it. That's another controversial opinion uh, because they hear it so often every year. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I could get sick of that song. Although that's not a challenge. Don't try. And uh, in Ukraine, people sing Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell every day and like it's ah, no, all that's the a, time. That's a bit too much for me. That's definitely not my favorite. And uh, what about Christmas TV shows or films? Uh, what do you watch? So, I am a big fan of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, of all mm-hmm. of his books and works. That's my favourite. It's quite short, it's very easy to read quite quickly. And there have been many film versions made of this. Mm-hmm. But in my opinion, the best film version of A Christmas Carol is the one made by the Muppets Company. Jim Henson's Muppets Christmas Carol is oh. my favorite Christmas film. Uh, that is somewhat of a musical, in fact. And it's one of the few musicals that I actually enjoy. Mm-hmm. So that's one of my favorite Christmas films. More recently, there was mm-hmm. a live action version of The Grinch, which I went to mm-hmm. see on Christmas with my family. Mm-hmm. And so I associate that with going to the cinema with my mother and my sister and my father. But if I had to have pick one favorite film, it has to be Muppets Christmas Carol. Okay, so I, I now I know what to watch today. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you very much for being here. Okay. And, uh, have a great day, and Merry Merry Christmas. And a Happy Christmas yeah. to you too. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year, everybody. And may all your Christmas night.